I think you get categorised from different people as well. Like the experience that I've had is white people will say that I'm black, mm -hmm. but then black people are like, yeah. it depends yeah. what your attitude is yeah. on what we class you as. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you've got to act like a black girl or do this mm -hmm. because what does that even mean mm -hmm. to be classed as black? But then if you act white, then it's like, oh, yeah, you know, she's a bounty or. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. There's always that yeah. identity of from other people as well that you feel the pressure from. Yeah. Because most of the time, I think these people don't even know where to put themselves. No, yeah, I think that's the biggest thing. I think when... I'd never experienced racism until I met another mixed race person, which sounds so strange, but, like, I went to an all-white primary school and then when I was in middle school, there was another mixed race boy. Mm -hmm. And I think I spoke to him not long ago and he had the exact same issues with me. He had an identity crisis that he just didn't know who his dad was and his dad was black. And he just reflected that all on me, unfortunately. But I remember him just saying to me, you black bee, and then like just calling me all sorts of names. And at the time, I'd never been confronted with any sort of like racial slurs or anything. Mm -hmm. So I didn't know how to take it. And that kind of like triggered my like identity crisis because that's when I realised my colour and realised my race. Yeah. Um, and that's when I kind of got moved to a multiracial school. And that's the first time I ever heard like the N-word being used or... Like, I remember the first time I met the deputy head and she basically put me into a group, <laughs> she put me into a group of people that she thought would be best suited to me because of my colour. So it was just black people, mm -hmm. mixed race people, Indian people, mm -hmm. not because I'm interested at all and I ended up not even being friends with them people. Um, and there, it's probably the horrible time in my life because they were just really, like, mean. Like, I didn't mm -hmm. fit in there, clearly, because mm -hmm. I'd been from a white school, so they saw me as white. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, my colour to them, they didn't understand like why I wasn't black enough to be part of their yeah. group. Yeah. But yeah, it just all, it's always uncomfortable. <laughs> it's weird. It, it is. It's it's really strange because I went, I got moved around schools quite a bit as well. Mm -hmm. And when I was at an all white school, mm -hmm. I was the black this, the black that, the black whatever. Mm -hmm. And I even remember like I went on holiday. They're like, you can't afford to go on holiday. You're black, and I was like. Oh my gosh, what? Mm -hmm. But that, that's, the, that's the different part as well. And then, you know, obviously I said to my mum, I was like, I can't go to school here anymore. Like, mm -hmm. It's driving me insane. And obviously my mum was like, no, we'll bring you out, that's fine. But then when I went to a mixed school, it was then I got a lot of drama from black people. And I'm like, where do I, where do I win? Yeah. Like, yeah, where's the win situation when you're mixed? Yeah. 